Well, the man arrested for tackling comedian Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl Tuesday night will not face felony charges. Instead, the 23-year-old is facing a possible misdemeanor case. It was a bold tackle on stage Tuesday night at the Hollywood Bowl. Comedian Dave Chappelle knocked to the ground. Police arrested 23-year-old Isaiah Lee, but now we're learning that suspect who rushed the stage will not be facing assault with a deadly weapon or any felony charges. Investigators say he had a replica gun with a retractable knife blade attached. I think it was a really risky move by the DA's office to not file these felony charges. We spoke with defense attorney Alexandra Kazarian by Zoom. I think the determination is whether he actually brandished a weapon, had a weapon in his hand, and tried to use it. That would be the intent to commit a felony uh, assault. Lee was arrested on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon and was being held on $30,000 bail. Now, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office has referred the case to the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office for misdemeanor filing consideration, saying after reviewing the evidence, prosecutors determined that while criminal conduct occurred, the evidence as presented did not constitute felony conduct. The district attorney's office does not prosecute misdemeanor crimes within the city of Los Angeles. I think it's the wrong decision. I think in this case, he had a weapon that he concealed through multiple layers of security. And there seems to be a very obvious intent that that very dangerous weapon was going to be used on stage. The LA Times reports Lee had the replica gun with the retractable knife blade in a bag and never brandished it. Now, if that weapon was in a bag that he had left on his seat before he ran up to the stage, that may play a role in it. I don't know if he had it in his pocket or if he had it in the bag away from the stage when he actually attacked. So if that was the case, if it wasn't even on his person, then the DA's office, as hard as they tried, wouldn't be able to impute that um, intent on the weapon itself. It's still not clear how Lee was able to get through security with the weapon. Chappelle was not hurt in the attack, but Lee could be seen being put into an ambulance afterwards. If Dave Chappelle was injured in any way, you could assure that this would have turned into a felony. Now, Kazarian says in the end, Lee isn't likely to face any jail time for the attack on Chappelle if he blames mental health or substance abuse and would instead get treatment. Kazarian is confident he will be banned from the bowl for life and could face a restraining order to stay away from Dave Chappelle.